If I don't have any rights, he doesn't have any rights. He doesn't have any rights, and you don't have any rights. I think I, think I know what you're saying. Yeah, in other words, if everybody gets equal rights, you got equal rights to the rights I got. And that's to sit down and keep your mouth shut or get your jaw broke. Is that the rights you want? Hello, everybody. This is Jesus the Messiah, Jay, welcoming you to the third dimension. I have some news for you today, or t actually today is 9-29-2013, a Sunday, and I have some news for you today about the government shutting down. Yes, folks, ladies and gentlemen, they're trying to pump more fear into you, more angst into you so you can be in angst all day about whether the government's going to shut down or not. Yet they played the same song and dance uh, in the same chord to a different tempo, to a different melody um, a year ago, which was called The Fiscal Cliff. And then they played it during the bailout and they added some, what, they added some uh, martial law in with it and everything else to keep you in angst. That's all it is. It's a show to keep you in angst. This guy here and all the other ones, no matter whether they're Republican or Democrat or actors, that's why they recruit from Hollywood. Hollywood is where they recruit their actors for the political arena because those are the best of the best actors in the world. That's uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger and uh, others, Ronald Reagan. So, you know, they're threatening to shut down. And, you know, it's just like promises, promises, you know. Shut the damn thing down. Shut it down. Please shut it down. You know, we do not need a governmente. We don't need a mind control. Govern means control. Mente is mind. Mind control. It's uh, etymology. It's breaking a word down and finding its roots. Because a lot of our words, most of them come from Latin. So, that's what that means. And, you know, they keep threatening to shut us, uh, to shut us down. What's next? Five questions in the government shutdown. Let's read this. This is from ABC News, Jeff, uh, Jeff Zellini, nine hours ago. The federal government is careening ever closer. Now look at the wording, careening ever closer to the first shutdown in 17 years. With time running short and the inclination to find compromise almost non-existent, almost non-existent, here's a look at five looming questions in the shutdown. In the shutdown sh showdown. Let me point something out here real quick. These people make a hundred thousand dollars or better a year these politicians and senators and blah 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 are they going to stop getting their check are they going to uh, be denied their free health care if they have a health issue during the shutdown give me a break you guys everybody should be very very irate over what these people have been doing with all the lies that have been exposed people really need to get angry and what you need to do is not anything um, like protest or kill trees to make signs and poisonous markers no you need to grow food grow food and start growing as much food as you can get a friend have a few beers make it a get-together you know couple times a week or whatever and grow food and everybody can swap foods um, what one person doesn't grow the other person can and we need to quit buying from the grocery stores which is poisoned anyway and radiated and everything else um, we need to quit being materialistic we need to shut these people down we need to quit thinking we need new cars or care about how we look you can care about how you look but you don't have to buy brand new name brand what jay-z's wearing you know with all the symbolism on that stuff i mean it's you know you people see it it's right there and they're kind of making they're using reverse psychology um 
with what they're doing now and how open they're being with it and how they're using it and laughing at people who expo expose it and question it. But yet they won't tell you what it means, and it means something. And we were never taught what Freemasonry is, where a lot of them symbols, the symbols come from, and what a lot of these people are. They're not doing backyard barbecues or rubbing elbows in the Brotherhood, you know, making backdoor deals. <clears throat> they're either know someone, and they're, they're people who either know someone in the bloodline or are part of the bloodline. Obama's part of the bloodline. He's related to Cheney who's related to Bush, who's related to the Queen of England. They told you that on mainstream media, and no one caught, not many people caught it. You can find that on YouTube. I've shared it in one of my videos. But anyway, um, one thing that really caught my eye about this article here is, um, it says right here, that that's the most worrisome question of all to leaders across Washington. The optimistic scenario is that, the optimistic scenario is that this latest a uh, bruising episode of fighting, Republican versus Republican and House versus Senate, may have let out enough steam to satisfy conservative activists. So, what is he saying? This bruising episode. What's an episode? An episode is usually like a TV series, isn't it? It's acting. This episode of fighting um, between these what it says here um may have let out enough steam to satisfy conservative activists what conservative activists are are people who question what's going on um i guess conservative activists are p people who lean republican and question what's going on in their own party both parties are no different than the other they look different on the surface but they all past this they all uh take away our rights take away our money tax us more uh destroy the education system and they all do the same thing and they all get up on the podium and when it's time to run for president and they all and they all say i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do that and then they don't do any of it and it's over and over and over and over again how long does it have to go on before we realize this system is junk it's a sewer system and we need to get rid of it and the only way we're gonna get rid of it is by quit feeding it quit feeding their TV ratings kill them sons of guns man turn the TV off and squeeze the life out of them man we don't need violence and all the people out here pushing violence and revolution that's uh the psyop that's what they want you to do all you got to do is go to the beach with your friends and hang out instead of disneyland who who uh, are has been proven have a vast mind control program and um mind control program <clears throat> And uh, other things going on with children, but I want to stay on subject here. Um, here it talks about if you notice a shutdown and stuff. So I thought that was pretty interesting that they were uh, almost sounds like they're uh, just trying to um, pacify these activists. Um, there's another kind of activist that doesn't. That questions everything: Democrat, Republican, Libertarian, Jumbalarian, Fubitarian. It doesn't matter. Uh, Socialitarian. It doesn't matter. We question everything and believe nothing, and because these people lie and they 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 lie. And, they lie. and how many lies do they have to tell <laughs> before everybody realizes? I mean. And I'm not trying to ridicule anybody because I was there, and that's one thing we all have to remember. We were there at one time. We we didn't see the big picture like we do now. So I mean, some with the name calling and stuff, we got to stop that. And it's stupid, and you're dumb, and blah blah blah. But you know, walk the way uh, Jesus would, which is you. All Jesus is is the moral code embedded in your DNA and other things. Jesus is the son and 
if you read it right, it teaches you about the cycles um, that we should be paying attention to, not the clock, but the cycles of nature. Um, this article says, here, here's the truth, the government doesn't shut down. So Yahoo shared two articles contradicting each other. They're both from different places. The other one was ABC. This one's AP. Um, it goes on to say uh, that the government will keep going. Um, Social Security checks will still go out. Everything will keep operating and blah, blah, blah. But then it goes on to say um, that... But lurking around the corner is a far bigger danger. Sometime in late October or early November, the government could run out of cash. So that's shutting down, right? <laughs> if it runs out of cash, it's going to shut down or quit running or whatever. The U.S. would be unable to pay all of its bills in full and on time for the first time in history if it couldn't borrow more. If it couldn't borrow more money. Are you kidding me? These guys are rubbing elbows. They're part of the family that prints the money run out of money it's this it's all a scam it's a pyramid scheme you want to talk about pyramid scheme this is the pyramid scheme this whole financial system this whole sewer system is the is the pyramid scheme it's right on the back of your one dollar bill with an eye on top of it you know so this is just to keep you in fear do not fear um, in the end, we all have the moral code, and we all, uh, for the most part, would take care of each other. And it's it's us against them. I don't care what color you are, where you're from. It's us against the bloodlines, and the people work in the puppeteers working for the bloodline. So uh, that's a whole other subject too. But we, uh, I see a lot of backstabbing out here, and the when I'm out and about in my everyday life and I see a lot of uh, just n no loyalty and it's being it's not anybody's fault it's being conditioned into us a part of us thinks we have to do that you know to survive because that's what we've been taught but then on the other hand they try to throw morality at you at the same time morality and money don't mix money is the root to all that is evil that's been uh from day one that's been the case so anyway that's that for now you know if you want to chat or anything hit me up on facebook at forward slash red dawn post dot com or twitter at forward slash red dawn post no dot com just red dawn post go check out my website red dawn post dot com if you would please i put up other stories interesting stories and have a discussion over there about them in the comment section and um that's about it for now. Until next time, until I find some more uh, bull dude to wade through, take care.